Success is one of the possible outcomes, and I always thought about it when you started Endeavor. If you make SpaceX a private aerospace company, success must be at least one of the possible outcomes of a large-scale rocket launch. There are about 125 types of rocket engines produced in the world, but it's all crushed by the new Raptor 3 engine. SpaceX's newest triumph the Raptor 3 engine has mind-blowing power. With its exceptional performance and unequaled capabilities, this innovative masterpiece has broken global records. The Raptor 3 has launched SpaceX to unprecedented heights, confirming its position as a trailblazer in the space business, and revolutionizing the world of space exploration. SpaceX provided the globe, with a stunning spectacle during the recent Raptor 3 engine test. Test film displayed the engine's incredible strength, and brilliant brilliance as it roared to life, leaving observers in awe of its might. It represents a great increase in performance and pushes the frontiers, of what is achievable in space travel. The Raptor 3 engine, which is generating a staggering thrust force of approximately 269 tons, and operating at a chamber pressure of 350 bars. The closest engine to the Raptor that uses a phased combustion cycle, using methane and oxygen is Blue Origin's V4 engine, which is predicted to produce roughly 245 tons of thrust. This exceptional third generation of the engine, outperforms typical rocket engines, like the RS-25's 190 tons, and the Rode 180's two combustion chambers. Furthermore, the Raptor 3 engine exceeds its predecessor, the Raptor 2 engine, by an astonishing 18%. This significant improvement in performance, bears witness the power of Raptor 3 engine. SpaceX's unwavering pursuit of innovation, and drive to pushing the boundaries of rocket technology, resulted in a record-breaking 350 bars, which defeated all of the most powerful rocket engines. Previously assumed chamber pressure belonged to the F-1 engines, that drove the classic Saturn V rockets during the historic moon missions. Working at a measly 70 bars, the Rode 180 engine utilized in the Atlas V rocket, has a respectable chamber pressure of 267 bars. Moving forward in the chronology, we can't say for certain that this is the final version of the Raptor, nor can we affirm that it will be utilized on the second Starship test launch. However, everything is possible because SpaceX's constraints are less limited, and in the field of rocket physics, where every ounce of thrust counts, chamber pressure is the foundation for developing an engine's strong thrusts. As the pressure within the combustion chamber rises, the propellants encounter a more forceful ejection, resulting in a greater velocity, as they are expelled from the engine's nozzle, according to Musk. According to Newton's third equation of motion, this violent expulsion produces an equal and opposite reaction, giving the necessary push to propel the rocket forward. This increased power allows rockets to carry bigger payloads, achieve higher velocities, and undertake more ambitious space missions. A higher chamber pressure results in more thrust output, allowing for a higher thrust-to-weight ratio. This ratio is critical because it represents the amount of force the engine can generate in relation to its own weight. A higher thrust-to-weight ratio allows the rocket to carry heavier payloads, or achieve enhanced acceleration, thereby expanding the range of missions it can perform. Additionally, the importance of chamber pressure extends to the design flexibility of rocket engines. Higher pressures allow engineers to achieve desired performance characteristics. While keeping compact and lightweight engine designs, this flexibility is critical in enabling the construction of sophisticated launch vehicles. Capable of meeting a variety of mission objectives such as crewed missions, deep space research, and satellite deployments. Continuous advancements have been made to the Raptor engine. Since its debut in 2016, the Raptor engine has evolved, becoming more powerful and efficient with each iteration. Demonstrating the company's commitment to pushing the boundaries of rocket engine technology. This means that the Raptor 1 engine has served as a testing ground for SpaceX's innovative concepts. The successful Raptor 1 test firings marked a key milestone in the progress of rocket engine technology. In 2020, SpaceX introduced the Raptor 2 engine, which touted increased thrust and chamber pressure, resulting in increased efficiency. Raptor 3 is currently the pinnacle, attracting much interest and anticipation. This latest iteration represents a big step forward in engine development, demonstrating gains in performance efficiency and overall capability with the Raptor 3. SpaceX intends to attain even higher thrust and dependability, pushing the boundaries of rocket propulsion. 
there is bound to be a lot of speculation about the future of Raptor engine iterations, especially whether Raptor 3 is a temporary replacement for Raptor 2. We don't have much information on SpaceX's long-term plans, but I can guess that Raptor 3 serves as a transitional phase, allowing SpaceX to gather valuable data and insights, while simultaneously working on further refinements of the engine. Because they are always focused on rapid iteration and continuous improvement, it is not uncommon for SpaceX to introduce intermediate versions of their engines, before reaching a final optimized design. This iterative process allows SpaceX to test new concepts, identify areas for enhancement, and refine their engines to achieve optimal performance. However, the path to innovation is not without its difficulties. The Raptor engine's development has not been without difficulties and engine failures. Despite the challenges, SpaceX understands that engine testing is a complex and rigorous procedure, and engines may fail during testing either accidentally or purposely. SpaceX's commitment to developing the Raptor engine remains unwavering. In fact, SpaceX has addressed key aspects of the engine's design, to ensure that Raptor survives even in the harshest conditions of space travel, through extensive research and development. SpaceX has identified integrated advanced materials, that can withstand the rigors of space travel. These materials contribute to the engine's robustness and structural integrity, allowing it to perform optimally even under immense stress and pressure. Simplifying the engine's design is also an important factor, that contributes to its reliability. SpaceX's philosophy has been to refine and simplify the Raptor engine, decreasing the complexity of its components and streamlining manufacturing procedures. If we can delete and integrate enough secondary structures, primarily small fussy pieces, we can locally protect the rest of the engine and remove engine heat shields. According to Elon Musk's response to a journalist, Raptor 3 has the option to remove the engine's heat shield, allowing the engine to be lighter and perform better, than the Raptor 2 engine. However, in my opinion, this job is not easy. It requires meticulous engineering and thorough testing, to ensure the engine's reliability and safety under various conditions. Overall, the ability of the Raptor engines to still break their own records, in the future is a key factor driving SpaceX's ambitious plans for space technology. So how slow is the growth of the others, with just a single high-volume variant required Raptor 2 production? Could be extraordinarily efficient, and would easily outpace any other large liquid engine production in history, at 800 to 1000 engines completed each year. Technically at its peak in the 70s and 80s, the Soviet Union was producing hundreds of R7 Soyuz booster engines annually, and upwards of a thousand per year. If one counts the several different kinds of engines on each R7 Soyuz booster. However, the annual production of a single variant of any other large liquid rocket engine in history, has never come close to the target set out by Musk. 